In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure in real-world coordinates using a Cognex camera. Now I've got my test sample here, it's a nice threaded rod, and I'm trying to measure the diameter, so I've got a calipers function here. But if I go into my uh, spreadsheet, you'll see that I've got this, uh, this number here. This is in pixel coordinates, so it doesn't mean very much to anything outside of the camera. In order to get it in something that we can use, I need to calibrate the camera to what it's looking at in the real world. So I need to use a calibration function. Best way to do that is to use calibrate grid. Center there, brings up this dialog box. Now, the grid type, you can choose whatever you want. I've got a checkerboard with no fiducials and the spacing is uh, 10 millimeters. You can also go to print grid and it'll print you out this here, which you can use for calibration. I've already done that, so I don't need to. And I only need one pose because the field of view is very, uh, is very small, so I can cover everything in just a grid in one grid, so I don't need to have multiple uh, poses to do a calibration. If you do have a larger field of view, it would be useful to do that. Now I move on to pose. And for some reason, this hangs up, nothing to be worried about, uh, just wait it out. So the pose section of this dialog box finally loaded, and I can choose my, my grid. So I'm gonna go from file, I'm going to pull up the calibration earlier, and here it is. Now, now I just need to select my grid axes, so I'm going to select an origin. There we go. The red dot there, and enter. I'm going to select the x-axis. I want to go to the right, so I click on the little red dot, enter. I select the y-axis and got the little dot, enter, and there I go. Also notice it found uh, 29 feature points, and that's these little green uh, marks here. Those are intersections between the, the grid. So I'm ready to calibrate. I'll calibrate, and here's my results. Got an average error of about one pixel, so I probably used a grid that was a little too big, but I'm okay with this for purpose of demonstration, so I'm okay with that. There we go, there's my calibration function. Now I need to use that to translate this edge's uh, structure into world coordinates. And I can do that by using trans edges to world. There we go. Ask me for the calibration structure. Ask me for the edge structure. And I want to convert two because I just got a caliper. So okay, and it pulls it up and this is in world coordinates. Now to get the distance, I'm gonna use pair distance. Now, ask me for my edge structure. So put it there. Now the first edge, the index is there, second edge, the index is there, so okay. Now, this number is quite small because I'm still using the uh, calibrate uh, grid, so I'll just change that over to the, there we go, there's the correct image. And that's our measurement in real world coordinates. Since we calibrated everything in millimeters, this is the diameter in millimeters. That's it. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos or get in contact with us through our website. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to stay current with the latest products.